Do you think they'll have a joke about Mira swimming and sleeping in her own poop water? Yep, this entire video was based around that first joke, and boy was it bad. Now don't tell me you've never been so mad at somebody that you just wanted to shit in their bed. <laughs> hey guys, Gable Penny Shot here with another video, this time on the uh, kind of weird Amber Heard. And no, this is not about Johnny Depp. No, this is not about her defecating in a bed uh, or any of that stuff. Uh, this is just about apparently a rumor that she's going to be getting her own spinoff series as Mira. Of course, Mira is the wife of Aquaman. Or I guess in this case it would be the future wife of Aquaman if you're following the DCEU. This article comes to us by Bounding Into Comics by J.B. Augenstein. All right, let's keep all of the past stuff about Amber Heard away. Listen, I'm going to try to refrain from doing poop jokes or at least anymore. Now, Amber Heard, she confuses me because sometimes I see photos of her where she is very beautiful and she looks very well done. She's she's like done up. She's wearing beautiful clothes, her hair is all done, and she looks great. And then there's other times where she just looks like white trash. I mean, I guess I don't really know how to put it. Uh, in the Aquaman movie, she actually looked extremely well with red hair. She was gorgeous, like skin-tight costume, accentuated that hourglass hip. Everything about it was great. But who would have thought she's just a shitty person? Goddamn puns. All right, anyways, let's get on to the article. There's a rumor that the Mira spinoff starring Amber Heard could be coming to HBO Max. Now, obviously, all the drama and court cases in the press isn't scaring away HBO Max. They're definitely going to try and push her as a, as a character, probably having her own TV show about God knows who. I don't think she has enough to kind of stand on her own, at least not yet anyways. So it'll be interesting to see how she fares without somebody like Aquaman beside her. It seems like every DC character and their mother is rumored for a show or spinoff of a film property on HBO Max. The streaming service needs the content as well as the star power that comes with it. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously they're, they're spinning up HBO Max. They need to create content. I mean, this is nothing new. And I think there's kind of an ulterior motive to all these rumors because, you know, there's been a lot of these rumors that a show or a movie is getting a spinoff series. And I think the reason behind that is because they're trying to see what gains traction, especially in the press or on Twitter, because that's kind of what they're known for now, right? So the Justice League released the Snyder Cut, gained a lot of traction online. There was a high demand for it. So they went ahead and gave Zack Snyder money and then let him finish the film. And they're going to be releasing that on HBO Max coming up, I believe in March. I think, I think it was when I heard it. So now it makes sense that they're going, okay, well, let's just announce everything and let's see what gains traction. I don't know if this is going to gain the type of traction they're looking for. I mean, Amber Heard is very controversial. There was a huge petition online uh, wanting her to be replaced at, uh, you know, in the Aquaman 2 film. And of course that didn't exactly happen. We're not quite sure how big her part is in the movie, but guess we will find out. The other side of that is where and in what form the speculated Mira spinoff of Aquaman starring Amber Heard will land and reading the tea leaves or following the movements and logic of Warner Media lately, tipster Daniel Rickman may have our answer. Rickman claims Heard might star in an HBO Max series following the further adventures of Amira. That's not much confirmation on this scoop so wait and see while we take the adequate pinches of salt. Man this is a terrible article. <laughs> Come on bounding. Uh, gorgeous artwork here. There's only one Mira. While it's not awfully far-fetched, you can make a drinking game out of the rumors dropping the, the hint Warner is discussing such and such character for HBO Max and so and so is going to be in it. And saying that in reality is at the studio level, Warner appears reluctant to let go of Amber Heard because they want Mira to be the next Wonder Woman. Ooh, now that's interesting. Uh, I mean, I guess if we look at it you know, as uh, an actress against another actress... I mean, I think their acting ability is on par. Gal Gadot and Amber Heard, they're not the greatest actresses, uh, but they can look pretty. Gal Gadot is gorgeous, by the way, so she wins hands down on that. Amber Heard can look pretty. As it is for staying power, is it Mira versus Wonder Woman? I think Wonder Woman takes the cake. They're going to have to be really careful the way they, they approach this TV series, though, with Mira. they got to make sure she is strong, but still a character, like still a person that 
is flaw that needs to be built up that needs to build herself up you know through trials and tribulations you know like good plot development which i think uh is very lacking nowadays um they I mean they could do it but i just i don't know i, I just i'm just not feeling mira it's just weird not having enough PG-13 heroines, they want to catch up to Marvel and Disney's robust roster of fierce females and brave princesses. They could easily recast the part. Some fans wish to see Jason Momoa's friend and Game of Thrones co-star Amelia Clark take Hurd's place. Now that's an interesting idea. Amelia Clark, Also beautiful, but maybe in a, a different way. This, I think this photo of her is very flattering. I think she's a way better actress. So I think just on that account, I would say yes. I think it depends. She needs, the, they need the right writer. I mean, I think that's obvious. Amelia Clark was great in Game of Thrones and then was terrible in Game of Thrones. And that was all due to the writing. I mean, Amelia Clark was also in the Terminator, one of the Terminator sequels. And that was garbage. Yeah, I, I think Amelia Clark could, could actually, you know what? I like that. Let's go with that. Better than Amber Heard. You can bet, however, the studio has an escape plan. As we've reported, Aquaman 2 may be written in such a way to minimize Mira's presence, if need be, and replace her with a new character, most likely Dolphin, one of Arthur's love interests while the queen was MIA. Ooh, now that's interesting. What about Amelia Clark plays Dolphin? We've seen her as a blonde before. You know what? I sort of like that because uh, people love love triangles, right? So Dolphin and Mira, Aquaman, like who would you ship? <laughs> I guess, does anybody care? Is anybody is anybody watching these? I guess technically Aquaman has been the most popular. I don't know how it is with female audiences. I mean, Jason Momoa is a hunk, though. Granted, we've heard the opposite, too, that Mira's role will get expanded in the name of giving her a solo film and making her a major player in the DCEU. If they are smart, I think they will downplay Mira. I, I mean, she's super important to Aquaman in the comics. Like, we understand that part. But I would like to see... Uh, blonde hair representation. I mean, Mira, of course, is a redhead, and you know Hollywood is notorious for replacing redheads with people of color. Hmm. Maybe that's maybe that's how that maybe some, we should get a person of color to replace Mira. Makes sense. Get rid of all the gingers. Mira will be a player in Aquaman too, but sooner than that, she can be seen in the Snyder Cut of Justice League, in one arc of Mini restored from the editing room floor. I think we're all kind of looking forward to the release of Snyder Cut, mostly because we have no idea what to expect. And Zack Snyder, while visually good, tends to not be the best writer. So I'm hoping the writing part that he <laughs> that he helped do is, is lowered. So what do you guys think about the Mira spinoff? I don't think it's a great idea, but you know what? HBO Max, if you're already subscribed, I mean, it's free content. Who cares? Uh, let DC just burn. Burn it down to the ground. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, bitches, gripes, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, uh, maybe even a subscription. You know, hey, who knows? All right, guys, take care, and I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.